it's Rachel with Sasha, and today we're going to be working on Drop It. Drop It is really important for the protection of your things and also for her safety. If she grabs something that uh, maybe she could crunch and cut herself or that would be harmful to her in any way, you want her to be able to drop it and uh, so that you can get that from her. And also, you don't want her uh, picking up any of your stuff and damaging it with her teeth because she's super playful, likes to do that. I know that uh, my slippers have been the victim uh, a couple times that she'll run off with those and uh, that isn't very good either. So we're going to practice drop it. Uh, to review, drop it is like a trade. So I'm going to, I have some toys over on the table that hopefully I'm going to get her to latch on to. And then I'm going to use the treat in front of her nose and tell her to drop it. So I'm trading the treat for the toy in her mouth. And that will help her get used to it um, and learn that. It would be good if maybe when you're around the house, if you have just a little bag of treats in your pocket, so if she does grab something that you don't want her to have, um, you can practice with uh, treating her with the treat like that. So have a couple of fun toys here. Alright. Trying to get her excited so that she'll actually take it in her mouth. This is a new toy, so she's more interested in checking it out. Go ahead. that 
turn it into a game. As you can see, she was having a blast with it. And if you practice uh, having her drop it with her toy, something that she knows is hers and that she likes a lot, uh, then hopefully that will make it easier. So if she grabs something that maybe you don't want her to have, she will be more responsive to the drop it. And it's always good to have treats while you're practicing. And even though she knows the command, I know she's been over it before, just like with the come, every time you're adding uh, new variables, making it more challenging, you still want to use the treat to encourage her. So if she's running around the house and say grabs her slipper uh, when she's not supposed to and takes off with it, she's turning that into a game herself. She knows that she's not supposed to have it. So having a treat to get her to drop it will be really handy um, to keep encouraging her and showing her that she needs to listen to drop it at every stage, whether it's just a little game like that or if she does grab something that she really wants to keep away from you. So, hope this helps. This is Rachel and Sasha. We are working on Drop It.